Alright, we're going to talk about navigating with a GPS and compass. This is part one of a series. For the rest of them, go to visit the website. It's at the bo address is at the bottom of the screen. I'm not going to go over the menu uh, programming in your waypoints because you need to read the instruction manual. Every GPS is different. Every brand name, every model is going to be different. So there's no use in going over the menu. You need to read the instruction manual. We're here next to a creek which is on a train tra underneath the train trestle. This is the first part of learning how to navigate with a GPS and compass is starting somewhere where you have a clear view of your target. This is on a street, go to a high school, parking lot, somewhere where you can where you can use your GPS, get a position fix, define the waypoint, walk two or three hundred feet, pull out your GPS, set your compass to the bearing that you need to go and your compass should point directly back towards where you started at. This is the first step in learning how to navigate with your compass and GPS combo. Now to find the waypoint and before you leave your target you need to go ahead and set your route back to where you want to go. And right now it says I'm 83 feet away from this very spot. GPS's are not exactly accurate. Right now this one is 83 feet off. But it'll still get me back to this area. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pack up, we're going to hike down the railroad tracks, we're going to get another position fix and see which direction and see which direction we need to go. Make sure we know how to set our compass. We need to use the compass along with the GPS, not just the GPS, not just the compass. We're going to use them together. Okay, let's go. Let's take our hike. All right, according to the GPS, we have walked 0.17 miles. We're still on the tracks. We can still see our target. Take a look down there. You can still see the trestle. This is the very basic introduction to GPS and compass navigation. You need to get in a spot where you can see your target. You don't take up the GPS and your compass the very first day you have it. Walk out in the woods, then try to learn how to use it. Don't do that, okay? Uh, they'll be calling the rescue rangers and power rangers to come get you, okay? Don't. So, all right. What you want to do is scroll through your menu. You've already, whenever we were at the bridge, we already set the GPS to. We wanted to go back to that location. Scroll through your menu till you find bearing, okay? So, and some of you are saying that the, the magnetic field or the the iron in the in the rails are going to cause a little disturbance in the compass. Yeah, you're right, okay? We're not, this isn't rocket science. All we want to do is make sure that we can read this enough to set our compass to point us back towards our target, which we can see, okay? All right. Now, what we want to do is this red line right there. We want to set it at 353 degrees, okay? Get a little shake. Can you see that okay? Shadows in a way, but it's good. Okay, that red line right there, we set it at 353 degrees. 353 degrees then we take the pointer and we line it up like that and we look at this line here okay and that is pointing straight towards the trestle so I know that I've set my waypoint correctly I've read my bearing I've got my compass set and I'm looking straight towards my target all I have to do to get back to the trestle is follow the follow the compass you should practice again, practice this again, and again, and again, until you can do it repeatedly without having to look at the instruction manual of GPS. Visit the website for more articles like this, and now let's go on to step two, or, or introduction to navigation part two. Thank you.